this be like this be like us is over. This be like us, become like us is over, and that's what the Americans cannot understand. They still believe that they have to lead the world; it must be led by the Americans. And the reason they can't see it and they are in denial is that it's going down, not the U.S. as a state or a society, but as an empire. And all empires go down. There's no empire that has existed forever. So you may say the United States today. Is is Titanic. The West is sitting as restaurants in Titanic, and the water is coming up around the windows. Now, instead of then reaching out and say, "Okay, our time is over. We will be one among many, and we will cooperate with you," what they do is they insist on one thing, and that is to dominate by means of deception, untruths, narratives, and secondly, militarism. I would like to predict that. This occasion, the United States will go the same way as the Soviet Union because it, it is militarizing itself to death. The Americans don't do diplomacy, diplomacy anymore; they send weapons. They pour in weapons because that's what they are best at. But no country can survive with just being strong in one sense. For instance, militarily, if you become politically weak, you become economically weak, you become psychologically weak, you become weak in terms. Of international law and legitimacy, then you are on your way down. A strong country is one which has high level on all power indicators and do not over militarize and neglect the other power scales. The United States has, you can say, a MIMAC, MIMAC, military, industrial, media, academic complex. These are elites who have common interests with each other, such as. Producing weapons, selling weapons, using weapons, destroying countries, rebuilding countries again, but they do not have any common interest with the people in their countries. They're outside democratic control, and who said that? President Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1960, or one or two, or whenever he made his farewell speech. It's a very famous speech by a man who was a general himself. Who said the United States has developed? a military industrial complex. He didn't call it MIMAC as I do. And we need to put it under control to remain a democracy. What is undermined very, very clearly now is pluralist open media and our democracy in the West because everything is now geared to warfare and militarism. More, more, more. There's nobody who stops to think. There's nobody who stops to think about the long-term consequences of pouring in weapons and never solving the conflicts. You just look at what goes on now in Israel. The country that has so much weaponry already, had nuclear weapons, and had a special agreement with weapons with the United States, $5 billion a year, I don't know for how many years. What is the first reaction in Washington? We must transfer, transfer even more weapons to Israel. This is a sick society. It's a sick way of thinking. And of course, this whole thing has to do with, as I said before, the dream, the unrealistic dream or illusion that if we can get rid of Russia as an opponent and we could, and we have created that opponent ourselves because they never invaded a NATO country. They hope that they can concentrate all NATO's resources on a cold war or, God forbid, a hot war against China. You just go to NATO's homepage and you look at the threat perception. NATO is now characterized to be something like a church. You either believe in this nonsense or you don't. There's never an argument on NATO's homepage. The text is, China is a threat or a challenge because China is different from us. China has different interests from us in the West. Now, if that's how you define a threat, everybody around the world basically is a threat. So the whole thing is a military industrial complex lives from finding enemies because if you don't have enemies or say you have enemies or appoint somebody or make enemies,
is you can't legitimate your own arms development and the military industrial media academic complex will fall apart so that's why the moment we get rid of that military industrial media academic complex we can begin to talk to each other as human beings